What's up guys, it's your boy Ace, and today we're going to go over the new franchise info that was dropped for Madden 19. As always, I'm going to provide the full article in the description if you guys want to read it for yourself because I did skim through, and I'm not going to talk about every single word that's in this article because, believe it or not, they didn't really skimp out on the details. They have a lot of meat here in this article. So I'm going to talk about each section, however, I'm not going to talk about every little detail because uh, I don't want to make a 20-minute video. So let's get right into it. The first section is player archetype progression. So this is basically their way of sorting out players. So each position is going to have somewhere between two and four different archetypes. So as you can see right here in the screenshot, uh, quarterbacks have West Coast, Field General, Strong Arm, and Scrambler. So right here with Matt Ryan, obviously he's not going to be an 88 overall Scrambler. So they differentiate here. They have a 78 overall as a scrambler, which makes sense. So they're gonna, they, they've done a better job at sorting players out. Um, they go into the progression system. I'm not sure if this is in replacement of how progression used to be. If somebody knows in the comments, let me know. But based on what I'm reading here, they make it seem like the progression is through the archetype system. So like right here, earn skill points by acquiring enough XP for a player to level up XP is earned during gameplay and then once you've earned a skill point spend it on one of the player archetypes to upgrade that overall for that archetype by a full point so they go on to talk about if you use that one point you'll see in the screenshot right here your player goes up in these categories and that just makes me wonder are they replacing like actual customized progression because if they are I'm not sure I like that I think I would like to have the ability to kind of upgrade the stat I want to but I do understand the archetype system and I think it's pretty good I think it's needed um, here are the archetypes per position uh, there like I said there's two to four for each one um, and I you know skimmed through them and they all look good to me so let's move on to the next section next we have coach scheme fits so what they've done is they've actually made your actual scheme more important now because if a player actually meets that scheme he's gonna develop quicker and I don't think it was that way in the past I'm not a huge franchise guru so I don't know if that was the case or not I do think that overalls were viewed differently if they were meeting the scheme or not so if you had like a 4-3 defensive end but you're a 3-4 scheme then I think his overall was lower than it should have been I'm not sure how that all worked because from my understanding, that was just artificial. Like you were looking at a lower overall, but he wasn't actually worse. In this case, I believe it will be worse because you're not going to be developing as quick if you don't meet the scheme requirements. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but that's how I'm interpreting it here. Um, next, we have, uh, for instance, you can change your scheme at any point for full control over how you want to build your team. Uh, for instance, if you draft a strong arm quarterback in the first round and that's not your scheme, which is, I think it's, yeah, vertical power run or vertical zone run would be the scheme fit for a strong arm QB. Um, if you're not one of those schemes, you can uh, switch your scheme at any time. However, if your other players that are on your team um, don't meet that scheme, then they're going to suffer. But of course, if you want to build around that quarterback, you can do that. Here are the list of schemes for Madden 19. And let's get right into the next section. Next, they've given us the draft class creator, which is going to give us more customization when it comes to upcoming draft classes when you're actually running multiple year franchises. So you can actually, at once week three comes around, you can auto generate rookies, which is, you know, their preset classes. Uh, you can download from Madden Share or import your own local file. So they give you that option at week three uh, before scouting starts. Um, you can also edit the players. Uh, there's like, for instance, the preset classes, you can actually edit them and change ratings and equipment and player traits. You can do all of that. However, um, if you do that, uh, only commissioner can do that if you're in like a user league and you will be notified if your commissioner does change. As you can see right here, there's gonna be a transaction log, which every single time a player is edited, uh, you can really kind of keep track of what's going on. So. You don't have a commissioner who's trying to screw everybody over. Uh, so that's good to know uh, that's in there. 
and then last thing is find all the draft classes in the community has shared in Madden share. So that's one of the options uh, for the week three menu. So let's get into the next section. Depth chart positions is something that I've already talked about briefly in one of my videos, uh, but I'm gonna go into more depth here because we have more information now. This is not just for franchise, this is for the actual game. And what they've done is they've made it easier on us, just more convenient because we can now get the right players for the right situation on the field. So they have seven positions and they are rush left end or I guess rush defensive ends, rush defensive tackles, sub linebacker, slot cornerback, slot wide receiver, power half back, third down running back, kick returners and punt returners. So in the past, so let's, let's talk about wide receivers for a second. In the past, if you put your slot wide receiver at depth chart position number three, he would in most cases be a slot wide receiver, but that's not 100% because there were formations where the third wide receiver would actually line up outside in specific formations. Now with the specialty position, we can actually put a guy in the slot and keep him there at all times, regardless of the formation which is helpful. You know where he's going to be at all times, 100% of the time, no matter what formation. You don't have to go to the pre-play menu and swap everybody around. You're going to know he's going to be in the slot. Again, if you want your best pass coverage linebacker on the field on third down situations, you just put him in there at sub linebacker, and he's always going to be on the field whenever that situation ar uh, arises. Um, let's see. We also have... Slot corner, same thing as uh, wide receiver like I just talked about. And uh, power halfback, he's going to be using goal line formations. So you, it, it just makes it, it's just more convenient, guys. It's not groundbreaking, but it does make our life easier. Player ratings now has more detail as they've added new ratings to the system to make it a little bit more specialized and detailed. So what they have, they go through a, a few of them here. Run block finesse, uh, pass block finesse uh, will be featured on agile linemen, which is one of the archetypes for linemen. Uh, power linemen will now rely on the run block power and pass block power. Uh, then it goes on to list more of them here. One of the ones I find most interesting is the route running has now been broken down into three categories. You have short route running, and that includes you know slants and drags, medium route running, which is going to be curl and digs and then deep route running which is to me going to be the most important um in madden because uh, they actually specify corners as deep which means they'll probably include c routes as deep as well and probably post so the best routes traditionally speaking in madden i don't know yet if they're going to be the best routes in madden 19 but more likely than not they will be um deep route running will be very important here. So they've broken it down and I actually like it. It gives it, gives it more detail. Immersive environments is not something I'm super excited about, but you know, it's a nice touch to the franchise experience. So if you're playing as a coach, you know, your background is going to be, you know, your guy working in the background. Um, it says here, if you've won a Super Bowl, you'll see the Lombardi trophy on the shelf. Uh, you can toggle between, I think the locker rooms here, players. And then here, uh, it's pretty cool. They've included like a draft stage. So when you're doing a draft, you know, the guy's going to come up on the screen. His rating's going to be revealed. And it's pretty cool. Uh, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just, it, it is more immersive, but it's not anything to get like super excited about. And here are the draft cards. You know, once you pick your guy, you can see on the left, draft analysis, see if he's actually a good pick, uh, ranked at fourth when you actually draft him at 14th. And it's cool. Uh, the player card looks good. Everything looks good and let's move on. Snapshots is a cool little feature, not something I'm going to be using a lot. I'm not sure if anybody I know will be using it a lot. And I'm also not completely sure if it's manual or if it's done just from Madden, um, like automatically is what I should say. Uh, but basically what they do is they take some of the best moments of each game and then put it into a snapshot gallery so you can view them later. Uh, which is, you know, it's it's pretty cool. Um, it's a cool feature. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. I don't know, don't know how useful or 
how often it'll be used, but you know, it's a nice new feature for anybody who's a franchise head. Team captains is something that apparently has been requested a lot. I don't believe it has any real effect on the player besides uh, when you're actually in a game, a star icon will be visible on that captain. You can select up to six captains per team, which is realistic. I believe there are six captains per team. Um, and cosmetically, you will see the captain patch on the player. And the star indicates how many years he's been a captain for. So they're claiming that regression is more dynamic this year. Basically saying that high development players are going to regress slower and then vice versa. If they're like slow development, you know, they're going to regress quicker and they're going to have shorter careers. And that's realistic. I'm not sure how realistic and dynamic their system really is. We're just going to have to see. But anything that is closer to realism is always good. So I'll take the word for it now and we will assess that later. And to cap everything off, dynamic dev trait is something that they've added. And this is a system that's already been implemented, but they've made it more detailed like many of the other things that I've already mentioned. So for instance, they have normal, quick, star, and superstar. So I believe they did have a slow as opposed to a star. So there was like, I think it was slow, normal, quick, and superstar. But now instead of having a slow, it's normal, quick, star, and superstar. And they claim it's going to be harder to become a superstar because there's only going to be a few superstars per position. And that's going to change at the end of each season because based on your production as a player, like for instance, let's say you have Odell Beckham and he just does not have a good season. He has a 500-yard season. Uh, he, he, I mean, he won't have a 500-yard season, just an example. And five touchdowns. Well, he's going to be evaluated compared to the other top wide receivers. And if he doesn't meet the criteria, he's going to go down. So he's probably going to go down to quick or sorry, not down to quick. He'll probably go down to star and someone else will move up into his spot at superstar. So it's nice. Um, and they also claim that uh, rookies well, generated rookies are not going to be superstars very often. Like they're going to be generational talents and you know, very, very rarely will you come across one. So that's nice to see. And it's it's pretty realistic. I like this system. Um, I have no, no problem with it whatsoever. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section, all you franchise heads. Some of you guys know better than I do. Uh, there were a couple of times where I asked for your inputs earlier in the video. Let me know if I was wrong. And also, like I said, let me know what you guys think of these franchise improvements. So Thanks for your time, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.